my name is Winter, Winter Dunn, and I live in LA, California, and I'm a cool black girl here. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I have a lot of experience with microaggressions. Uh, ever since I was a kid, people have always noticed how dark my skin is and has always made a point to call that out. And I remember when I was really young, a guy walked up to me and told me I was really pretty for a dark skinned girl. And the sad part is at the time, I actually thought it was a compliment. I was like, oh wow, really? Me out of all the other dark skinned girls, I'm the pretty one? And as I grew up, I started to feel self-conscious about the color of my skin. When you tell someone they're really pretty for a dark skinned girl, you're insane. The color of your skin puts you under an umbrella of unattractiveness. But despite that, I'm able to see you specifically as a pretty girl. How is that a compliment? <laughs> like in what universe is that a compliment? It's not. It's saying that you saw past this to see something better than this. And I think women of color have been drugged through the mud. Generations, we've been fighting to be lighter. I mean, bleaching creams is one of the most successful beauty care products in the world. So it says something, this is not just like in our heads, this is money, this is numbers. Like people are spending money to make themselves lighter because we live in a society where we're told that the lighter you are, the more beautiful you are. And I'ma call bullshit on that. I think when people receive a lot of hatred, they internalize that and then try to spew it out at other people. And so I found myself putting down other women of color who had lighter skin than me. Or when I would see a guy hit on a girl who had fair skin, I would immediately be like, ugh, of course he likes her. She's the light skinned one. And I had to get to a point where I was like, Winter, why wouldn't he hit on her? She's gorgeous. Her being gorgeous doesn't make you less beautiful. And that was something that took a while for me to really grasp. And I got to learn about some of the psychological damage that we have about colorism in our community. And so now I'm able to look at my feelings that I used to have and understand where they're rooted and then overcome them. I had to learn that I am beautiful, melanated, kissed from the sun, and I am not gonna be ashamed or mad. Now I look at all my girls with all the melanin or lack thereof, and we are all beautiful and we're all dope. It's definitely been a process, but I have grown up and I have become very secure and confident with myself and my skin, funny enough, I think is the most beautiful part about me. And now that I feel that way and I think that I'm radiating that confidence, more people seem to compliment my skin. And every time it shocks me because I'm like, whoa, that was always the thing that people would tell me I was ugly for. <laughs> so let's start a conversation and get to know each other. And then maybe the issue of microaggressions in 10, 20 years won't be a thing.